There is a traditional Japanese steelmaking method that uses pine charcoal, which produces a light ash. To make it burn well, we cut it into approximately five centimeter portions and wrap it in plastic to avoid moisture absorption. We lay out an iron plate. The furnace uses fire resistant blocks reinforced with mortar. A little way above the floor of the furnace, we install a pipe, an opening through which air can pass. And a little further up, we install another pipe at an angle. To heighten the insulating effect, we place powdered pine charcoal on the floor of the furnace. This is iron sand, our raw material. We'll use about 17 kilograms of iron sand. And we've prepared 45 kilograms of charcoal. We install a thermocouple so we know what the temperature is inside the furnace. We'll dry the furnace until the mortar on the outside is dry. To speed up the drying process, we'll burn charcoal in the furnace. We'll use an ordinary vacuum cleaner in reverse to blow air into the furnace. After we've checked that the furnace is thoroughly dry, we can fill the furnace with charcoal and raise the temperature. We put the chimney in place. The chimney too is fixed with mortar. When the red oxidizing flames appear, we increase the volume of air blown in. We add charcoal until it's filled to the chimney. The temperature at the bottom of the furnace is over 1000 degrees Celsius. The flame coming out of the chimney has changed to a transparent reducing flame. And now at last we add the iron sand. First, in order to make a pool of molten iron slag, we add two kilograms of iron sand and blow air in through the bottom opening. After a while, we switch blowing air in from the bottom to the top opening. After changing the air input to the top opening, we add charcoal and one kilogram of iron sand together every 10 minutes. Inside the furnace, the iron sand sparkles in its molten state on top of the red glowing pine charcoal. When we've put in about 10 kilograms of iron sand, we remove the slag. The impurities contained in the iron sand, which have melted as iron oxide, are removed. We monitor the state of the slag at the same place where lumps of steel will accumulate. Let's hope the iron from the iron sand we add melts inside the furnace and collects at the bottom. Carbon monoxide produced when the charcoal burns reduces the iron oxide. The carbon melts in the iron obtained and steel is formed. After we've added the final lot of iron sand, we wait about 15 to 20 minutes until it's been reduced. We then wait until the charcoal falls down to the bottom of the chimney, knock down the chimney, and add green grass. This is called smothering the fire and is done in order to prevent oxidation. About 30 minutes have passed since we smothered the fire. 
After checking that the charcoal level in the furnace has fallen to around halfway, we stop blowing in air. The temperature inside the furnace is now 800 degrees Celsius. We remove the bricks from the front of the furnace. Nearly four hours have passed since we first added the iron sand. We can now finally remove the steel. We remove impurities stuck to the lump of steel. We've produced 6.75 kilograms of steel from 17 kilograms of iron sand and 45 kilograms of pine charcoal. By forging this steel, we can make magnificent knives like these. <laughs>